Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel and welcome to this video. It's an extra special one today because it is an unboxing. I have never done an unboxing on my channel before. This one is an extra special one because it has been sent to me by the lovely people at S&B Sensory. If you watched my day in a life video with a baby and a toddler that I posted about two weeks ago and I will pop a link up here if you haven't seen it already, then you will have seen that I visited the most amazing sensory place that I have ever been to with the boys. The owners reached out after they saw my video and I'd spoken to them while I was there and offered to send me one of their sensory boxes. They've just started an amazing subscription service and I will put the details all down below for you. So this video is not sponsored in any way, but just so that you're aware, this box has been kindly gifted to me. I am really excited to get stuck into it Oh, it's upside down. <laughs> it's just arrived and I have not opened it. So this is going to be a true and realistic unboxing. And I will give you my very honest opinion on what is inside. I did see something flashing in this corner here when I took it out of the packaging. It did come wrapped up in a waterproof packaging, but obviously it had our address on. Well, in fact, it had Rupert's name on, which I thought was a nice touch. Okay, let's get into it. So I'm sitting on the floor today, just because I thought it may be easier for this type of video. Um, and I'm sorry that you may not be able to always see what's in the frame, because obviously I'm unboxing things down here, but I will try and hold things up for you as much as possible. So on their website they do several different subscription boxes. This one is specifically for babies and you can order a box every two months for the first year of their life. So uh, you get six boxes in the course of a year but of course you wouldn't have to sign up when your baby is newborn to be able to get the benefit. I don't imagine they know that Rupert is eight months old. In fact, he's going to be nine months old on Monday. I can't believe it. And I answered a little quiz about him and his kind of likes and dislikes as well. Okay, so when you open the box, it comes like this. So it says, with love, Steph and Becky at the top there, who are the owners of the sensory place that we went to. And then it's got lots of this lovely, messy, but great for sensory play <laughs> paper in. And then, oh, it's got a list of what's inside the box. Sorry, that's blown out, you can't see it, but that's a good job because I don't want to see it either. You ruined the surprise. So I'm just going to pull things out from here and um, we will see what we have first. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so I'll just put this down on the floor. At the top of the box, there is this rope ring so they actually had these on the tables when we were there and I'd never seen them before but did wonder what they were so I guess it's just like a tactile rope that you could attach to different things it's got the links if you've watched any of my videos my best buy videos before you will know how much I love links for baby things um, and then obviously they've got some ribbons on there which is really nice as like an extra little ribbon ring there's two of those these are great as well because of course you could unhook them and use them on something else um, but I'll just hook that one back on for now and then they've got some cards on here so there's some number cards this would be great for my older little boy actually who's three he would really like these so they've got some number cards um yeah that's on like a little key ring ring so you would oops so you would be able to take that off if you wanted to. So probably not the best for young babies, but certainly something that he can grow into. And like I said, something that Finley would really like. And then this one's nice with pictures of the different animals on. Okay, so that is the first thing. And um, what else have we got in here? Okay, I'm just reaching out and pulling out the next thing. Oh, this little guy. Hello. Can you see him? Here we go. So he is a really fun little wooden wiggly worm. These are really popular in Montessori education, these kind of wooden toys. 
and they can be quite hard to find, especially good quality ones. So I'm really excited about this actually. And it's really fun because it moves and wiggles and it's pretty tough as well. I do imagine that everything that they have put in the box has been tested to make sure that it's safe. I think that Rupert is really going to like putting him in his mouth, most probably, <laughs> and uh, playing around with him. Again, something that Finley would probably enjoy playing with as well. And then the next thing is, yeah, this looks really exciting. So we have got, wow, one of these. So this is an infinity mirror tunnel lamp. They had these on the walls at the play place, but big versions. And both boys absolutely love them. Let me get out of the box so we can have a look. Although I think it needs batteries, three AA batteries. Uh, not included. Hold please, I will go and get some. Oh, okay, you're always guaranteed to have batteries in the house when you have children that have battery operated toys everywhere. So, where did I put it? Here it is. Um, oh, <laughs> I need a screwdriver. Okay, hold again. So, so I've just come back upstairs from my uh, screwdriver journey. <laughs> and looked at it only to realise that they have obviously put the batteries in already. So I mean to have gone to get batteries. After all, that's lovely. Okay, so how does it work? It doesn't have any instructions inside. But, oh, we just turn it on and off like this. Ooh, okay. I wonder if, if I turn the lights off, here you might be able to see it a bit better there we are uh, let me describe it to you because you can't really get the full effect on camera oh there we go you can see it now sorry the light from the window is just reflecting a little bit so basically it's got lights around the edge and when you look into it it is an infinity effect so it looks like the lights go on and on forever and they keep on changing color you i wish you could see what it looks like but the camera is obviously just picking up on the light but in any case it's really cool <laughs> and I think that the boys will in fact I know that the boys will love this you could attach this to the wall because it's got some wall fixings on the back here so you could attach it to the wall and it's also got a place that you could plug in a plug I guess and have it plugged into the wall as well so you didn't have to just have it with batteries I love this and I've never had anything like this for the boys before, so really exciting. Okay, let's go deep diving again. So there's absolutely tons of stuff in here. The next thing that's on the top is this, and it looks to me like it is some kind of teaser. Oh, it's so fun. It's really, really a jiggly little toy and it will be great for teething. It's got lots of different textures on, and um, excuse my nails, by the way, Finley and I have been playing in the mud kitchen, um, but it's got, it's got lots of different textures on the bottom as well. Really great for teething, and the absolute perfect size for little hands. So Rupert is definitely going to enjoy that. Okay, let's keep going. The next thing is one of these little balls. What are these called, hacky sacks? I think that's an American term, isn't it? but just a little bean ball. Lots of fun and great for having a go at throwing and catching practice with my older little boy. And Rupert will really enjoy watching this roll around on the floor and feeling the different textures as well. Then we have got some bubbles. And um, what's the next thing? Ooh, this looks exciting. Giant UV string ball. I wonder if this is what was lighting up. Oh no, because if it's U, of course it's UV, so it's not light up. Okay, so if you had UV light, if you had a black light, then this would light up. But in fact, you don't really need a UV light to appreciate the sensory nature of this. It's really satisfying, actually, even for an adult. And um, super safe, I think, as well for little ones. Obviously, you wouldn't want them to bite off these little bits, so you'd have to use these things with supervision, but to be honest, all toys should be used with babies for babies with supervision. This is really fun. And I can see something in here that I wonder if it goes with it. 
Oh no, that's something else. Okay, so we've got this. I thought this might be a UV pen because it looks a little bit like the UV pens that they had in the place that we went to in the UV room, but it's not. It is Sleepy Dazzy Pillow Spray. Oh, Sleepy Days. Come on, Sophie. Sleepy Days. Can you tell I was up five times in the night last night? Not with Rupert, my nine month old, but with my three year old who kept on having nightmares. Um, Sleepy Days Pillow Spray, original calming, um, not suitable for use if pregnant, shake well before use. Let's just spray it in the air. Oh, that smells amazing. <laughs> that smells so good. What is it? It smells like lavender mixed with like, um, I don't know, I'm not very good at essential oil smells, but like another essential oil. This is the smell that I smelled when I first opened the packaging because I thought it smelled amazing. And this is the smell that they have at the century place that made it smell like a spa. I'm gonna do it again. Mmm, that is so good. <laughs> Just buy the box for this. That is amazing. And I wonder if then this has any kind of proven effect for helping babies sleep through the night. Worth a try, everything's worth a try. Makes me feel a bit sleepy actually. <laughs> so, the next thing we have is a flashing knitted ball. This is what's, oh, this is sort of flashing. This is the trouble with these flashing balls. They're quite sensitive to being knocked around, so the batteries can go on them relatively quickly, but there we are. These are really fun, and I'm so glad to have one of these because actually our last flashing ball just died a few weeks ago. Its batteries died, so nice to have another one. And again, these are really great for teething on, lots of little nubby bits for babies to get their gums around and really easy for them to do themselves, to bash on and off. So great for learning about cause and effect and really, really fun if you turn the lights off. You can actually, some of these you can put in the bath. It looks like the battery is pretty well encased. I mean, that would be your risk, wouldn't it? If you wanted to put it in the bath, it, the battery might die. But I have seen people put these in the bath and they worked really well. Ooh again put you down there okay so oh here's the card for the little um the little spray thing so the croft the craft hopper limited is the company the craft hopper limited make and sell handmade soaps and cosmetics find us on facebook ebay and etsy and view our full range of products at thecrafthopper.co.uk okay so there we are you can take a screenshot of that oh, i'm so embarrassed by my nails <laughs> so that you can visit them because that smell is amazing okay last two things i think this is an oval shaker i have talked about ovals before they are actually one of the most highly rated toys on amazon you will have seen that if you saw i think it was my six to not to six month amazon toys review it might have been my six or 12 month one. I'll put the link, I'll find it and put the link up here for you if you want to watch that. Um, but ovals are really great because they're really squishy. They're great for babies to be able to put in their mouths, but also to get their fingers into and hold really easily. They can got a good grip on them. And ovals are also really great to put sensory scarves into. I'll just go and get my sensory scarf to show you. Now you obviously don't have to have a sensory scarf to do this. You could do it with another piece of fabric, but sensory scarves are quite nice because they are so thin and easy to weave in and out. So the idea with the oval is that you can put the sensory scarf in like this and then you can challenge your baby to have a go at pulling it out. That sounds quite complex for a baby to be able to do, but actually from around about five months old when your baby can grab onto things and grip things, they will learn that they can pull as well. So that's a really good lesson for them. Lots of fun and just kind of extends the life of the toy a little bit more. This is a shaker one. So I wonder if we can, it's still got the ring on, but I'll cut that off later. But just so that you can see, it's got, there we are, it's got a shaky bit inside the middle. So it's a rattle as well as an oval. Looks a bit like a dog bone. <laughs> really great fun and a great toy. Okay, the last thing, the box is almost empty. I will count up in a second how many things that we got, but I'm, I'm actually blown away. So, 
The last thing in here is a My First Buggy toy and it's a little crinkle book. So nice to put onto the pram or the car seat. These are great, if you, especially if your baby doesn't like being in the car. Having something like this on their car seat is a brilliant distraction. I love this. So it's got a little Lynx ring on there and then it's just really soft fleecy fabric and it's got little taggy bits on there for the babies to uh, pull on or chew on or hook their fingers inside um, and it's got a little squeaker in there as well. One of the downsides of having toys in the car with your baby is that actually it's quite a dangerous safety risk, especially if you've got quite big clunky toys. So even something like this, because if you were involved in a car accident and this was to fly out of your baby's hand and hit them in the face, then it could do some damage. But having something like this, that's basically just a soft piece of material is perfect because you don't have to worry about the safety risks and that will entertain and distract babies for a really long time. I am going to take this to pick Rupert up from the childminders in a little bit and see what he thinks of it because I think that he is going to love this. But let's have, count up how many we got. So this says to Rupert, we hope you enjoy your Zen box. Inside you will find tactile communication rope. So that's what that first thing was. Infinity panel, koosh ball, which I think was this one. Light up knitted ball, rice ball, which was the one that I called the hacky sack. Teaser, calming pillow spray, bubbles, a wooden caterpillar, a rattle and a tactile square. So how many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven items in this sensory box. I've never had a subscription box for a baby before. I did used to get subscription boxes for me back in the day when I actually spent my own money on myself rather than my children. But I never got this many items in any of those boxes. So I'm really impressed. And I definitely would recommend that you get one of these boxes, especially now we're heading back into this rubbish uncertain time with the very real possibility of another lockdown and baby classes have only just started up and places like this have only just started running and now they're closing again. So we're going to potentially be stuck inside all winter with our babies. Having something like this is not only a really great and fun surprise for both of you, but it just means that you can bring that sensory element to your home as well. What you could do even is just give your baby one new thing a day. In fact, I would probably recommend that don't give them to them all at once because it will be quite overwhelming, but just give them maybe one or two of the new things. Then you can spread them out over a week or even more if you wanted to, and it just elongates the fun even longer. These would also be great little fillers if you were doing like a little baby advent calendar. I think that that would be a great idea to do as well. So do go and head over to their website. As I said, all the links are in the description down below. They are over on Instagram as well and Facebook, so you can go and give them a follow. I will give you an update over on Instagram as to whether he likes these and which are his favorites. So if you're not following me over on Instagram and I will post it on Facebook as well, then do so, those links are down below. And if you like content on baby life, parenting, toddler life, mum life, then make sure that you do subscribe to my channel. I bring out new videos every week as well as a free baby class. Thank you very much for watching this video, everyone. Don't forget to give it a like and I will see you all very soon. Bye.